Tesla shares are experiencing the first sign of a bearish reversal. They are losing the 21 exponential moving average and uh, will probably close below this point today. And uh, that's the first time since November 10, almost two months ago. So the market is in correction territory. What should we expect from now on? That's what we are going to see in this video. But first, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. Very nice to meet you guys over here. I'm a retail trader sharing my thoughts and ideas here on my YouTube channel. And uh, right here, right now, we see that Tesla is crashing. It is collapsing since December 28 over here. We have been doing nothing but crashing. The 21 EMA tried to act as a support level over here yesterday, but uh, in the end, the bearish momentum prevailed. And uh, right now, we apparently, Tesla's price is seeking its next technical support level, $230. Do we see any meaningful bullish reaction suggesting a possible bottom signal? Not yet. On the bright side, that the mid-term momentum is still bullish because although we see Tesla crashing, it is just crashing because we still see Tesla making higher highs, higher lows. As long as we stay above $230, we are not going to make a new lower low, losing the previous low, which in this case is this green line over here at around $230. So, okay, although we are crashing, the mid-term momentum is still, the chart structure on the daily chart is still bullish. We have yet to see lower highs, lower lows. We have yet to see this going on, right? So, okay, the mid-term momentum is bullish. We are still above our main support level at $230, but uh, I do agree that it is quite problematic to see Tesla losing the 21 MA on the daily chart. First, because it is the first time since this since December 10. I'm so sorry, since November 10 over here. This candlestick. It was the last here was the last time was the last time that Tesla closed it below the 21 exponential moving average. So seeing Tesla closing again below this key point is not a good thing for Tesla. It means that it is losing momentum. Second, Tesla is correcting while the broad market is also correcting. SPY, SPY, uh, again, uh, as I have been telling you guys here on this channel, SPY is in a bullish momentum over here. Right now, we are making a pullback to the 21MA. Okay, the 21MA is supposed to act as a support level. However, we got to see some confirmation first, right? We got to see some bullish reaction above the 21MA. Then, okay, then SPY is going to convince me that it is going to find a bottom signal over here and that we are going to continue the bullish sentiment to the all-time high. But uh, unless, as long as we don't see such reaction, okay, we are still in correction territory. QQQ already lost the 21MA. It lost the 21MA and apparently it is seeking its next support level, which is $394, which coincidence or not, is roughly around the 61.8% Fibonacci's retracement on the daily chart over here, meaning the $394 is a very important support level for tech stocks, for the tech stocks index over here. So we got to pay attention to this key point, all right? So far, we don't see any meaningful bullish reaction. In fact, QQQ, today, QQQ lost yesterday's low and uh, the 21MA area is acting as a short-term resistance level, as we can see here on the daily chart, right? The 21MA on the, on the daily chart is acting as a short-term resistance level, as we can see here on the one-hour chart. I'm so sorry. Uh, today's high was 4.01. The 21MA on the daily chart is at, uh, is around 4.01 and up. 50 cents. So it is quite close to this key point. So apparently we are clearly losing momentum. We do have some, some promising support levels for the broad market. SPY is getting closer to the 21MA. QQQ is getting closer to the $394. But uh, we got to see some bullish reaction confirming a next the next bottom on the inches over here. Otherwise, we are, we are just going to keep dropping, okay? And the hawks is going to affect Tesla. Again, as I told you guys, $230 is 
the next support level over here. If we see a meaningful, very good confirmation of a bottom signal in this area, okay, great. Probably Tesla is going to flag in, probably Tesla is going to recover the bullish sentiment over here. And uh, its next technical resistance level would be $268 up here. The next, the previous top level from October last year. So, okay, the situation would be under control. The problem is that we still, we have yet to see confirmation on the weekly chart, on the bright side, on the weekly chart. We are still above the 21 MA. Apparently, we found a support level uh, near this purple trend line, which was a previous resistance level over here. So, okay, we are not, uh, although, we, although we are collapsing, the situation is not that horrible. But uh, if we see Tesla losing the 230s, if we see Tesla making lower highs, lower lows, then guys, we are gonna prob probably correct too much much lower levels and that uh, we do see some warning signs indicators wise because right here as we can see uh the 230 dollars is a very important support level not only because it was a previous support level one two three four five six seven times in the past but because it is right there in the middle between the 50 period moving average and the 200 period moving average so the 50 period moving average, the 200 moving average, they are very close to each other right around this green line, which is the $230 over here. So this entire area, this entire area is supposed to act as a very strong support level for Tesla shares over here. It is, in theory, it is not going to be that easy for Tesla to break it. But uh, we, do see, we do see some warning signals because... We are very close. If Tesla actually loses this support level, it is going to probably trigger another death cross pattern over here. Meaning the 50 period moving average is going to cross the 200 period moving average downwards, just like it did over here uh, on May 2022, when before it triggered this very intense bear market over here. What, what a coincidence, right? The time we did this death cross over here, Tesla's price was around $250. No, no, I'm so sorry, $240, $37 roughly. And right now we are at $240 again. So what a coincidence. If we see, if we see Tesla losing this triple support level over here, that's gonna be very, very problematic. And uh, this is why you should subscribe to this channel if you are not a subscriber yet, because I'm here every single day to keep you guys updated, keeping you guys updated on Tesla, Spy, KikoQ, NVIDIA, and the other stocks as well. So just follow this channel and click the like button to support me as well. What's more, what's more, to make things even more complicated, we see a clear divergence between price and indicator specifically the rsi the rsi is making a lower high lower low right now it is losing the previous support level as you can see here on this green line over here right so we are losing the previous support level making a lower high lower low what is this called this is a classic advanced breakout meaning the meaning the indicator is anticipating a breakout on the price this is very problematic. I'm not saying that Tesla is going to do this. It is going to lose this triple support level for sure because the price the price will always prevail. Price action always prevail above indicators. So we don't trade indicators. We always trade price. We use indicators to support our decision-making process, but we can't rely on indicators 100% of the time, okay? So we use indicators just to support our main decision-making process, all right? And uh, seeing such divergence over here is indeed a warning sign for us. We should be aware of this, okay? We should pay attention to this movement over here. And uh, by the way, if you do wanna trade with me, consider joining our Telegram channel. The QR code is right here on the left corner of your screen and on the fixed comment below. We have been nailing many, many good movements recently on Tesla, Nvidia, uh, SPY, QQQ, and the many, many other stocks. So just 
follow us over there. We have been incredibly profitable last month, and uh, I do believe this month of January 2024 is going to be another promising month. I see many opportunities out there already. So join our Telegram channel. The QR code is in the left corner of your screen. Uh, speaking of other stocks, NVIDIA is losing momentum. It is losing the previous support level over here. It already lost the 21 MA. And unlike Tesla, unlike Tesla, which Tesla was making higher highs, higher lows, right? NVIDIA is having a very problematic, uh, a very rough time in breaking the all-time high area, which is this yellowish area up here. Uh, it is having a very hard time breaking it, and uh, recently it made a crystal clear lower high, lower low, right? This is very frustrating. NVIDIA is surely not a buy right now. As for Tesla, so my two favorite stocks, I, I can't say that they are a very nice buy right now. So we should wait for more confir confirmation. And what's more important, we should watch out for this main support level because depending on how Tesla is going to, re is going to react around the 230s over here, we might see another incredible opportunity on it. Of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day on this channel. So remember, subscribe, click the like button. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.